Welcome everyone to our first two minute briefing, new news on PPP loans, Bipartisan Emergency COVID Relief Act of 2020. Should you be doing something now? Presented by Chuck Thornton of RC Thornton and Associates CPAs. This is a change from our 30 minute webinar, so we definitely wanna hear your comments and suggestions about it. It is my pleasure to introduce you to our speaker, Chuck Thornton. Chuck works extensively in the tax area. He's a CPA, a personal financial specialist, a CLU, a CFP. He has a master's in tax, specializes in tax planning. I'm sure all of you know Chuck very, very well by now. And um, I wanna hear more about what he has to say in this two minute briefing. So please welcome Chuck. Well, thank you, uh, Kit, appreciate it. By the way, this is a little different. I might take a little bit more than two minutes. We've been kicking around the idea of well, some topics, we just wanna give you something short and sweet so you know about it and not spend a lot of time. Uh, I just did a presentation on the taxation aspect on this, and lo and behold, uh, some of this information just came out. So, just wanna share with you, uh, this is my handout page right here. I took out the points in this proposal. That's the Bipartisan Emergency COVID Relief Act of 2020. It has not passed. It doesn't mean it's gonna pass at all. Don't get your hopes up. But I picked out the areas that might be of interest to you. They're talking about another PPP loan. I think most, most people knew about that. They're talking about doing $300 million or billion dollars, uh, to the Small Business Administration. Uh, their goal is to provide funding for the hardest hit uh, small businesses, and that is defined as businesses that have less than 300 employees, and also it includes uh, where the revenue has decreased from one year to the other, has decreased by 30% or more. So there could be some cases out there, restaurants and things like that, particular service businesses, there could be other people who might be candidates. And this is regardless of whether you got the PP loan before or not, you can get a second time if this passes and if it's gonna unfold the way they're talking. So I'll let you know about that if that has any implications for you. We talked in the past about whether the uh, forgivable expenses will be expanded, meaning that the IRS is taking a position that wasn't deductible. This particular proposal says that uh, if they pass it, that that issue is off the table. So my advice is still as it was before for people who listen to that uh, video, you just don't know what the outcome is gonna be. I'd like to hear them talking about this stuff and I surely hope they do, but you have the end of the year coming up, tax planning, extensions and things like that. So uh, until someone comes out and says it is uh, going to be deductible from the uh, Congress, um, we need to consider that last video. The other thing too is simplification for forgiveness application for loans under 150. There currently is a simplified application for 50,000. Now they are talking about increasing it to 150. So implications for you. I've been telling people previously, sometime back, hold off doing your applications to 2021. That became irrelevant under those rulings that we talked about. So then the last time I talked about this, I said, oh, you know something, whenever you wanna do it, just go ahead and do it. Now I would say if you're under 150, you haven't done it, why don't I give yourself a break and why don't you just wait to see if that actually happens and it might be easier for you to, to do the application just like it is with the under 50,000. So if you've done it, that's fine. If you wanna keep the ball rolling, that's fine. But if you haven't started, I just gave you another reason to procrastinate. Okay, that's it with me and I'm gonna give it back to Kit. Great, thank you so much, Chuck. And uh, thanks to everyone for coming to watch our two minute briefing. We would love to hear your comments about our very first uh, two minute briefing with Chuck. Please uh, let us know what you think and we're looking forward to doing more of them in the future. If you have any questions at all about the PPP loans or tax issues, give Chuck a call. Thank you so much.